Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing fur, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And I'm not I enjoy myself in the game. Hello, darlings. Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane. And I'm here with this very interesting gentleman. Mr. Keith Kaplan, who is works in the fur trading business. Tell my audience a little to. bit about what I am what the executive director of the Fur Information Council of America, which is the trade association representing the designers, retailers, and manufacturers working in <laughs> fur in North America. And we do everything from um, marketing and public relations to uh, promoting fur and educational programs at design schools. Um, and legislative activity, monitoring legislation and making sure that fur remains uh, a product that is available, fairly traded, and, and, and viable so that consumers have the choice uh, to wear fur. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I always wear fur. I wear fur even in the summertime. That's how much I wear. I think that fur is a very glamorous, luxury item, and I think it just makes all women look spectacular. Now, tell my audience more about fur. I mean, this is not just something that people wear in the wintertime anymore when it's freezing cold. Oh, absolutely not. As we like to say, it's, it's not your mother's fur coat anymore. Um, fur today, uh, with new innovations in manufacturing and design techniques, and, and the unique tactile benefits of fur itself, its richness, its, its soft feel, its luxurious appearance, is, is become a favorite textile among designers worldwide. Uh, this year, during the shows of Milan, Paris, New York, and London, there was more fur in more collections than any year previously. That's used, amazing. Used in more ways, with more silhouettes and more colorations uh, to appeal to more uh, uh, demographic segments than you've ever seen before. Because there are so many surprises in fur, and designers, designers love to play with fur because it offers boundless creative possibilities with dyeing techniques and shearing techniques and knitting techniques. You know, that's a new concept now with the shearing and oh. the way it's so feather light now. I've been trying on so many new furs that I just, oh my God, they're so feather light. And of course, you know, Jerry Sabera, he, he just Jerry Sabara gave me was a honored last oh night as our man of the year. Really? Oh, I he love Sal. him. I love him. He, he just gave me the most spectacular fur. In fact, I wore last week on my first night here, my debut here at Asiana Restaurant. Then you have one of the finest designers yes. um, who's given you a fur coat I know, today. I know, he's designed for people like Elizabeth Taylor and... And uh, he's been an exclusive designer for Neiman Marcus for years. He yes. is one of their best vendors. Oh my God, I'm really privileged. And you know, the, the beauty of fur is, as, as you've noted, it, 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 it is used so often not only for full garments but for trims <laughs> because a little bit of fur instantly communicates luxury, exclusivity, it's eye-popping. You can walk into a store and your eye instantly goes to fur. It gives any, any garment, when used as a trim, that much more value. And as I like to say, nothing frames a beautiful face like fur. You're right. I, I agree. That's why I'm wearing it tonight, darling. But it gets so much bad press. 
Is that going to ever stop? You know, I, I think as long as uh, society exists uh, as a, a group of haves and have-nots. Um, it the, should be your choice. It, it is absolutely your choice. Uh, there are a lot of myths, mistruths and misallegations that are spread by various animal rights groups about fur, but if you look at the people that are behind that, it's, it's not really an issue of animal rights because the industry follows regulations and standards in, in all countries across the board. It doesn't matter. In Europe, in North America, in Asia, all countries have their standards for animal care and welfare. And the reality is that if you didn't raise a healthy animal, they wouldn't have a healthy coat and the fur would not have any value to it. At the end of the day, the argument is simply an argument of haves and have-nots as it has been since the beginning of time. It is those that have, that rail and rally against those, you know, those that do have. And it, it's just a, a sociological phenomenon that I don't know that we'll ever overcome. It's, it's no different from the argument that says there shouldn't be luxury cars you're and right. Right. Do you find it more so here in this country that people are against the fur? Or you find it in European countries they're more willing to wear fur? Um, I think that, yes, I think that um, because of the American media largely, yeah. uh, the media, f for some reason that, that I'll never understand, has, has taken the rhetoric of, of the animal rights community for years. Um, without questioning it. And, and I, I, I work with other industries as well. And I can tell you, a broadcast journalist or a print journalist always calls and does fact checks on any subject that they're covering. For some reason in the fur industry, these stories run, and I've never received a call from the journalists. And they are printing absolutely. Well, I'm a journalist, and I'm. You do. Yeah. You absolutely do. But you, you really are the rarity. And I'm talking about well-respected, very large publications from the major publishing groups or some of the major city newspapers in our country. Uh, even the major television networks will run stories. And these reporters will present facts, and I use that in quotes, that they've been given by the animal rights a organizations that are the animal rights truth. movement is a business. The benefit they provide to these people who sign on to their cause is a media platform. Honesty takes a back seat. It's unfortunate. I mean, a, a beautiful actress against wearing furs is, of course, Pamela Anderson. Well, but, but let's look at some of the other things in Pamela Anderson's life. She owns a restaurant in Los Angeles. That serves meat. meat. Lamb being one of the specialties. She's very active, and kudos to her, in research for hepatitis C that involves animals. So the very organization that she, she speaks for which certainly does not condone these activities, um, it, it presents a bit of hypocrisy. Very contradictory. Well, I'm glad that you came on the show and you spoke about all of this and you enlightened my audience about this because they need to know these facts. Well, well I'm happy to do it and thank you for the opportunity, but more importantly, I'm here to celebrate my a, birthday? Woman, a woman in the absolute prime of life who looks spectacular and has spectacular energy, and I'm so happy to be a part of this. They can go to to find out more information. They sure can. www.fur.org uh, has lots of educational information. We have links to a number of websites that could answer virtually any questions you might have about fur. We have, uh, oh, I think over 500 images from the latest collections. Um, we have an archive of of press releases and important information. It's, it's a fun site and it's an informational site and we encourage people to go there. We also have uh, a retail locator if you want to find out where in your area you can go to find the finest fur collections. Terrific. Let's toast, darling. A toast to proof that 50 is the new 30. That's right. Mm. And many happy returns. Gonna give me a kiss goodbye, darling? Mwah. Keep watching, more celebrity interviews coming up to us. Pink champagne kisses.
time, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl, I was brought into this world. 